is up guys welcome back to another video my name is evan and in today's video i'm going to be breaking down some of my trades that i took today how exactly i took those trades uh where i did well and where i could possibly improve on those trades so right now i'm going to show you my screen and i traded sqqq today as you can see on the screen uh right off the open right we had a rip up on SQQQ and I've been trading mainly on the two minute time frame because it moves a little bit slower and sometimes the one minute time frame can psych you out. So I've been trading off the two minute time frame, right? And initially we got a nice push up. Um, I bought in after this candle on the two minute time frame, um, and I got a nice little move here. So one reason I sold out in this area and I want to point this out for you guys so you guys can take this into consideration uh, when trading in the future. Um, I identified this $51 level, right? Around 50, 51, 5107. I identified this level as a previous resistance. Obviously, as you can see, previous day's resistance right here uh, was around 5107 or something like that. But I ended up reducing position size around $51 um, dollars per share. And it was an excellent choice because obviously it decided to pull back and got rejected off that immediately. Uh, right after that, I did see that the MACD was still open, right? And we still had some decent uh, money flow and the RSI was still closer to the top. So I decided to take another position because we could uh, possibly push up from here. Now I did wait um, and I got in on this candle here. I waited for this candle to push up because I wanted us to see, I wanted to see us break above previous highs. So the previous high here was 5107. Yeah, 5107. So I uh, decided to wait until we got past 5107. And if we saw a decent amount of uh, push up there, then yes, I would buy back in. So I decided to around this area and caught an another little move up. Um, I actually got in just out on the perfect, the perfect, like the high of this candle pretty much. So 5144 was my sell um, on my second trade. So that's just some quick, uh, some quick uh, trade breakdowns from today. One thing to take into note is identify previous resistance levels from the day before, right? So this 51, this was the very peak of it, right? The 51, 15, but just around this $51 area, we could see obviously some resistance here from the previous day. So all I did was correlate that over to today's date and I sold at that resistance level. Now it's very important to be quick when selling at this resistance level. Because if you're not quick enough, then you could possibly miss out on profits, especially if that resistance level is strong, it will bounce right off of that resistance level and push straight back down and you could lose your chance to sell out. So in the morning, especially, it's uh, very important to be quick with your trades and be extremely accurate. So those are just some trades I took today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something from it. Um, I hope I broke that broke those down pretty well. Uh, if I didn't, please leave it in the comments down below how I could better break down those trades. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Like this video for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.